Who was the dumbest person you ever met? How did you know? Someone asked me if Japanese was a real language. In high school. Twice. Nah, it was just made up by really dedicated weebs. Guy said his son was named Aaron. Named after the Aaron Space Museum. SMH. Girl in my class asked the professor if other countries have moons, too. My best friend asked me this when I moved to Europe. She asked if I could see the moon there, or if it only existed for the USA. When I moved from Europe to the US I was asked, do you guys have television? This was in 2005. Half of my science class thought that the International Space Station was just some building on the ground. Ah yes, the International Land Station. A girl in my sophomore year of high school who thought there were 6 months in a year. She was really nice, but very surprised and confused when we tried to set her right. Edit, for those asking which months she would have included in her version of a year. I don't think she thought that far ahead. How did she get to high school without someone setting her straight? Well you see, she got there in half the time. I know a guy who thinks the specialty he drinks negates the negative health effects of his pack a day smoking habit. What's this specialty? I think might have smoked one pack too many. My friend wanted me to try whole wheat pasta. I explained that I'm allergic to wheat. She said to try it because it's not wheat, it's whole wheat. Just say that you are whole allergic to whole wheat. There was a guy who made a fun of me because I was a pedestrian waiting a green light. I have geography in third period and this kid thinks there's two Floridas. Florida. Flow rider. It checks out. I had a guy at work tell me that Benjamin Franklin was the 100th president because he's on the $100 bill. They thought dinosaurs were fictional. I knew a grown woman who thought that dinosaurs never existed, were slash are a hoax that is being perpetuated through time by scientists trying to be in on the joke. Her main argument for this point, if dinosaur bones are real, tell me why it's only ever a paleontologist that keeps finding the bones. A girl in my class in middle school genuinely thought people had landed on the sun. Her explanation for this belief was to insist that the moon and sun are made of the same stuff. I remember a guy I knew in middle school who put money into a vending machine and then his item didn't come out. Then he put more money into the machine and two of the item he wanted came out. He then exclaimed. Alright, 241. Man, I remember a guy in middle school who would put money in the vending machine and then sell the item for less money, because he thought that's what making a profit was. Few years ago in Australia Coke changed their bottle to be a bit narrower and taller to sue less plastic. Both bottles were 600 milliliters. Girl in my class at uni adamant that the change wasn't to reduce plastic, but so they could put less coke in to save money. I know they are both 600 milliliters, but the new one has less coke in it. I asked a temp at work to weigh a couple of lever arch files for postage. She came back and told me they were 65 kilograms. I asked if it were possible that it was 6.5 kilograms, but she insisted it wasn't. We argued about it for a good 5 minutes. It wasn't until I asked her how much she weighed, 59 kilograms, that it finally twigged that these two small folders couldn't possibly weigh more than her. Bold move asking her how much she weighs. Was working at a grocery store over a decade ago. I wouldn't call the kid dumb, because he just didn't know, it's more of a funny thing. He was new and the manager asked him to, face, the store when he asked what he could do. Facing means you make sure the aisles look nice and neat, 
and that the product is pulled forward and visibly facing you as you walk down the aisle. The kid couldn't be found until someone told the manager one of the workers was just standing in the parking lot facing the store. I will never forget that. I live in southern Spain. I once met a girl from the US, who was here on some kind of exchange program. When I asked her how did she like Spain so far she said. I'm loving it. I just don't know why the plane took so long to get here. I mean we are just a bit below Mexico, I don't know why the flight was so long. Then I told her that we were in Europe. And she didn't believe me. Her reply was. Europe. It can't be. Everyone speaks Spanish, so we must be somewhere near Mexico for sure. She was in uni. I still don't know how or why. I was working retail at the time. And this lady walks in and asks me to tell her when it is quarter after 10 a.m. She needs to catch a bus. We were slow so I obliged. 10.15 a.m. rolls around and I tell her. So she drops her stuff and runs out to get the bus. Five minutes later she comes back it's scowling. And she then lectures me on how to tell time. How much is a quarter? 25 cents. So why would you tell me a quarter after 10 a.m. is 10.15 a.m.? It's 10.25 a.m. Tell her that her bus is late today, it will be in at $3 to 11. Had a girl I worked with at McDonald's, sweet as could be, but denser than the concrete the store sat on. Two moments stand out to me. 1. She thought the Great Wall of China was in Arizona. Two. She firmly believed north was whatever direction you were looking at the moment. I worked with a woman who would be constantly on her phone, but if she set it down she'd think it would be someone else's. She legitimately spent 20 minutes looking for her phone, believing that the phone in front of her was another co-worker's, then finally did it dawn on her that it was hers. Don't know how she survived 50 plus years. When I was in the Air Force, I was the lead trainer slash certifier in my unit. When a new person would show up, I'd watch them do the job, answer any out of the ordinary questions etc and when I felt they were ready, I'd sign off saying they were qualified. This all happened after they finished a 6 week school learning the job. The 73 troops I trained took on average, 3 days to complete this phase. Then there was that one guy. I took him under my wing, non-stop for an entire month. He'd mess something up one day and we'd correct it. No big deal. The next, he'd get it right, but get something else wrong. Then on the following day, mess up on the first thing we had corrected. Bear in mind that he has a step-by-step -step checklist in his hand that lists everything to do and in what order to do it. After a month of this, I figured there was nothing I could do for him. Maybe it was my teaching method, so I handed him over to my supervisor. They spent another 3 weeks together until he was finally certified. A month and a half to learn what should have taken 3 days. Personally I really liked the guy, had a good heart, didn't give up after the setbacks, and probably the funniest non-comedian I've ever met. He was just a bit dense when it came to the job. The job was refueling jets which is really about 2 degrees harder than filling your car. A chimp could do it and probably learn in less time. Miss ya yeah buddy, hope you are still doing well. I like how nice you are about it, and how you acknowledge that he was a good bloke. A lot of people just disparage those who aren't as skilled as them. Good on you. Thanks. I always try to put myself in other shoes and have always been in some sort of mentor-like position. I think those two go pretty well together. A friend of mine is a sweet guy, but is overweight and balding and quite frankly, not very attractive in the face. Well, one day he lets us know that he has met a girl and she might be the one. He's in his late 20s for reference. Well, I've met some of the jewels he's hooked up with in the past so I wasn't expecting too much. Finally meet this girl and she is drop dead gorgeous and has a body that is incredible. 
I talked to her for a while and she is super friendly and outgoing. I'm stoked for my boy. He found the best he's ever gonna find. Anyway, the night progresses and the new couple starts talking about their plans for an upcoming trip to New Mexico, and she starts telling us how excited she is because she has never gone to another country before. I laughed a bit and realized she was dead serious. My friend just looked at me and shook his head and I knew that he knew she was dumb as a ref, King Rock, but she was his dumb F, King Rock, FWIW. He helped her get her passport, 